What is up guys, it's me, Andros, doing another first look for the Nintendo Dad's YouTube channel. Now, uh, I am not going to be here during this, during this, don't worry, I won't be covering the entire game, but I figured I'd just, you know, come and make a big entrance with a big Andros. Um, this is what we're playing today. <laughs> Monster H Harvest, not Monster Hunter is what I was about to say, Monster Harvest. You know, I can't mix up those monster games. Now, Monster Harvest is a farming simulator game. Very much looks like Stardew Valley. Um, but it has a little bit of monster collecting components to it. A little, a little bit of Pokemans mixed in here. So, uh... Let's uh, take a, let's take a look a first look at Monster Harvest. Zero percent. That's not good. It's gonna take a sec for those monsters to appear. <laughs> Yeah, so when it comes to farm sim games, I'm probably not the person to, to to get into games like that. Like, I tried Stardew Valley, and I just couldn't get into it. I, I don't know. I don't know why, because I, I know it's a great game. I, I, I think it looks great. I think the music's great. But I just can't get into the farming aspect of things. So we'll see. We'll see if making that monsters makes this better, like a better formula for me. Maybe it will. Maybe it will. I love me some Pokemon. So there's that. All righty. Enter player name. Alrighty, alrighty. The keyboard's a little wonky. What? What? Andros, what should my farm name be? It's going to be... The Nintendo... Man, it's like... I wish they had uh, some quick keys for the backspace and space, but that's okay. Nintendo Pals. Wait, wait, nope, nope. Gotta, I gotta do correct grammar here. Well, wait, wait. There's two of us, so I put the apostrophe after, right? Hopefully, that's right. <laughs> Nintendo Pals farm because I am not above self-promotion on a Nintendo Dance video. <laughs> I think that's been made clear with all the Let's Plays I've done. <laughs> Thank you to the Nintendo Dance for being so supportive of my uh, advertising myself on their on their channel. You know, it's they're great guys. Um, oh, this guy. He looks pretty happy. Now, I feel like I feel like this character should be customizable. I was living in the city, barely getting by. When one day I received a letter from my uncle. Okay. 
I hadn't heard for many years, but I remember him fondly from when I was young. He was a scientist and was always excited to learn more about nature. I wonder what he's up to now. One day I received a letter from my uncle telling me about the amazing new discovery he made. A substance that can transform plants into animals. His letter tells me he's named these creatures Planimals. Well, you know, that makes sense. What a great, what a, what a creative guy. The discovery has gotten a lot of interest and a town has sprung up almost overnight around his lap. He wants me to come take care of his old farm. His letter says he's far too busy with his research to deal with the farm. He writes that he remembers how much I used to love visiting his farm many years ago. I never really cared for the city life, and I like adventure. So let's get going over to that farm, yo. Here we are. We're on the farm. Oh, look at there. Is that his uncle? Hi, girls. I was hoping you'd get my letter. Welcome to Planimal Point. Well, that's the name people have started to call it ever since I just got my planimals. <laughs> I don't know why he talks like this. It's because he lives on a farm, you know? He's got he's got that draw. <laughs> it has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Here's the farm. It's all yours. If you want it. It might be a bit overgrown. I have been far too busy with my research to tend to the land and spend most of my time in the lab in town. I remember he used to love coming to visit a farm when you were younger. They just explained all of this. <laughs> He's just repeating exactly what was in the letter. There was a long time ago, but I'm sure with some hard work you can get the farm looking good as new. I think you will really enjoy it. The country life suits you. Planetful Point is a great community. It's like it's like word for word. I'm like, yeah, I don't like the city life. He's like, hey, you don't like the city life, you know? Hey, thank you. I really wonder what I'm doing. like someone is knocking at your door. You should check it out. Who's at my door? Good morning, Head Cross. Are you excited for your first day on the farm? I'll teach you the basics. Get your first crop set up so you'll be all set for a new life on the farm. To interact with things, all you need to do is press the interact button when you're close to an object down the first. You can move a lot faster than I can, but if you need a boost, press the dodge roll. On the roll, most actions are Form will drain your stamina. The status bar shows your stamina in green, your experience points in blue, your current amount of money, and weather. Where, where is this? If you run out of stamina, you will be too tired to work. Some items, like food or crops, will replenish your stamina. Now let's get to your farming. To clear your farm, you're ready to soil, you'll need to select the right tool for the job. Tools and items will be used. It's a lot of explaining, Professor Spark. The axe can cut down trees and small logs. The pickaxe can break stones and minerals. If you're ready to soil, you have to till the ground with a hoe. Once you've cleared up some space and tilled some ground, take these seeds, plant them to tilled soil. The plants need to be watered daily. Watering can. Watering can. After a few days, you'll have fully grown crops. <laughs> In place crops or items you want to sell. Consignment board. Cool. I'll sell any goods you post there to the right buyers and leave the money for you. Why don't you try it out when you're done for the day? Be sure to rest up in your bed. You can sleep through the next morning, or you can rest until nighttime. Chores around the farm. Cool. What? He said he'd stay here. Okay. Let's clear some farm, huh? Hiya! I'm pretty sure that's an axe. You discovered wood! <laughs> what? That's wood? It can be used to build things like fences and chests. You know how. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to do that. Better pick this up. So you can either hit the R trigger or Y to to mine those things. Also, we got stamina here. So let's just clear out all this bump. Let's just clear it all out. Jeez, Uncle, you left me in such a mess. You discovered a rock. It can be used to build things like paths and buildings if you know how. But if you don't know how, you're out of luck. 
This is how I this is how I didn't start you as well. It was like it's like I spent all my energy clear in the farm. I maybe that's just what you do first day, you know. It's just a rite of passage. You wanna you wanna have a farm, you gotta you gotta clean it up. Stamina regained. Good enough to like kind of start. Yeah, that guy's already like, I'm tired. Why are you making me do all this work? It's nighttime, I should be sleeping. Because we gotta we gotta till the ground. Or we won't have any place to grow our crops. Right, time to regain all that stamina, hopefully. I made zero dollars day one. Uh, I don't know if that's good. <laughs> We're in dry season. Okay, well, where do I get seeds from? Probably should have done this yesterday. I didn't really pay attention to how many. Thingies I had. Oh, this tree is so in the way. Let's, let's clear those. No one can do that. Our vision is here. Awesome. I can make a chest. I could go buy something. Is this all part of my farm still? Oh boy. really sprung up fast and it's all around my uncle's lab yeah general store looks like there's a general store I should check it out I'll also treat myself around town I'm sure if I get to know the town's people will make my life more pleasant Whoa. 
Who is this guy? Ugh. Spike. Uh, nice to meet you, Spike. Close this door. Hello there. My name's Cassie, and I run the general store. I sell a number of seeds and even bigger backpacks if you need to hold more items. It's always nice to see a new customer. Welcome to Plantable Point, a town that seems to have sprung up almost overnight. People are coming from all over to see the plantables and slimes that have been discovered here. It's a perfect business opportunity for me. Heh. <laughs> Come by any time during the day if you want to look at my wares. I do want to look at your wares right now. Oh, a mutate. Oh. I think that's what I already planted, though. So let's... let's... All my money. Okay, see ya. Hopefully I don't need that money for anything else. I used to be a young adventurer. Young and adventurous just like you. Oh, this is an old name. I used to be young and adventurous just like you. And my grandson Lance. Then I took an arrow to the knee. Is this his grandson Lance? It's a whisper. Bishop doesn't like it when I go out at night by myself. Maybe I should get some plantables to keep me safe. there, Andros. So, you couldn't wait to learn about my research, could you? I've discovered a magical slime in the dungeon north of town. Slimes come in different colors and have mysterious properties. I've been experimenting and have discovered that when you place a red slime onto the crop you are growing, that it will transform. The crop will turn into what I call a planimal. They're fiercely protective of whoever makes them and will even follow you around. People around the town are finding all kinds of uses for slime. Some are even able to power their houses with you may notice a few strange pipes in town. The Slime Coat Pumping Company has even moved into town. I'm not sure exactly what they want because they're pretty secret. The dungeons are closed at the moment, but if I collect I've collected some red slime for you. Simply apply to the plant crop. Or even a seed, and the plant will blossom into a plant animal. Make sure you keep watering it, though. It's really an amazing sight to see. I already had built a plant pen. A plant pen on your farm. You probably noticed. No, I didn't. <laughs> I can be used to manage your animals. Just go to your Pokemon PC. Uh, Planables seem to get jealous. Okay. Take this red slime and give it a try. Thank you. What am I doing? Science! Enough to seek or discover. I've made it my life's work to find new ways to make lives easier for all of us. How were you a farmer before this? <laughs> it's just... He's like wearing a lab coat. He looks like the professor from Back to the Future. Marty! 5,000 gigawatts, Marty! Jet. I heard some rumors about mysterious dungeons outside of town that I would love to explore. I just need to work up gearing up, so I'm ready for whatever gnarly creatures might be hiding there. So walking around doesn't expend energy at all, okay. which is different than Stardew Valley. Vex and I live together so we can train for battles. Who's Vex? Oh man, it's a cubo! Uh...
Oh no. <laughs> Um... Hmm. Hmm. I'm... Oh, and a polyrath right here. And... Yeah, yeah, I didn't know. there's all sorts of guys, except I'm stuck in here. What do I do? I just went back and forth a little bit on the fence. I broke the collision. Can it be repeated? Cubone, can you let me out? Oh, Cubone, Cubone, I pushed you out. Can I push everybody out? Push me out. I freed the animals from the pen. Hopefully they don't mind. Uh, I guess we'll be returning to title screen. Alrighty, back in my house. Oh, I lost all that progress. I guess I'll go, uh... I mean, I mean, I don't really know what to say. The game's a it is a little buggy. <laughs> yep, yep. How do I see? Like, I see the skip button, but I can't get all. Oh, okay. Looks like she's got a mustache. Is that the professor's lap? Whoa, where'd you people come from? Not a plan. All right, thank you. Let's go make ourselves a plan. Oh, look at that! It's like um, is it a mayor? Captain Ash. Why do they call me Captain? Just the nickname, I reckon. No, I'm not the one guy in this ship. Okay. I hate 
want to, I, I mean, this has been, this has been pretty long. So I need to call the end of my first look before I even have a plantable. It's a... This music is a little too repetitive for me. It's a, it's a little too short and a little too repetitive. It's, it's kind of... Oh yeah, I forgot the time. Would have done that sooner. If I didn't get stuck in the fence. Let's chop up the wood. You know, maybe I'll just call it early so that I can, uh, get that plan on. Place the board in the center of the town with items I need to collect. Here you go. Dab, 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 dab. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you. Alrighty, you want. Yep, there's my Pokedex. It's a stationary board. I collect all of them plants. Alright, Can do, Professor Oak. I already know who you are. Give me those radish seeds, yo. Thank you. I'll be back when I have money. So I guess I can start giving some some thoughts here as I, as I wrap up this this first look. So I I I can't like overlook. Uh, these load times are pretty bad. Uh, between, like, starting up the game, the loading took quite a while. And then, loading between each of the individual areas is a little slow. It's not, not horrible, but there's a lot of them. Uh, the menuing, it's like, it's, it's a little, it, the UI is not, not quite polished, like, instantaneous pause menu, and I, I want to hit to the side, and it, like, way over-selects things. I have to, like, be very careful. So, it seems like a cool concept. Well, oh man, I have, like, hardly done it. It's very Stardew Valley inspired, but it, it's lacking. It's lacking a little bit of that Stardew Valley magic. Like first off, we, we couldn't customize our character. And then the actual characters in game. Uh, just don't don't have as much person. Like they have personality, but they they're like they say one thing and then they're done. I don't I don't I remember the Star Valley characters being a little bit more, uh, 
But I love the concept that we have of we're gonna this thing right here is going to become a little Pokemon ball soon. And then uh sorry, it was just like wrapping up the talk on bugs. Obviously I got stuck in a spot I should not have been able to get through. I like the art style though. Like everything's really pretty. But for a game like this game is clearly, clearly trying to trying to be Stardew Valley, right? Oh no, am I out of water? Did they explain how to fill that up? Nope, but I figured it out. I'm a genius. Time to sleep. We're on day what? Four or five? <laughs> no money made today. That's okay. Okay, we're getting something. That's just coming. Help me, Andrew. Whew, that was close. The slimes have never come out of the dungeon before. Something must have happened to agitate them. They're normally pretty peaceful. Oh, I'm not reading his voice. You better bring the flammable, a flammable with you for protection. Here, you can take this mutanko. I made it by using red slime and a mutato. Different types of slime and mutato crops different ways. There you go. There you go. Yep, yep. Thank you. Look at that. I got a mutato guy. Where'd that slime go? And of course, they're 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 doing some great stuff with with the the Pokemon aesthetic. I just feel like the farming side of it. Say hi to that. No. I wish I could talk to my old man. Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Yeah. Overall, uh, I don't think I don't think this one's. I don't think this one's for me. It's not. like it needs it it needs a little it needs a little bit more time in the oven to get polished you know like like just, just polish up some of this menuing and streamline that tutorial and the dialogue but there's like pieces of it here that I think that I think are good so yeah I get I, that's that's where I'll leave it with my thoughts I guess um this has been a first look at Monster Harvest. And if you, if you would like to 
see more content like this, why don't you subscribe to the Nintendo Dad's YouTube channel? Because this is a great place. There's lots, there's lots of great games being shown here. Uh, and now you know. You've seen some gameplay of this. You're like, ah, does this look good to me? I'll try it. So yeah, that's that's uh, that, that's all I have to say. Uh, if you want to see more of me, you can check me out on the Nintendo Pals, Nintendo Pals YouTube channel, and TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. We're we're all over the place. So are the Nintendo Dads. Uh, follow, like, subscribe, share all 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 the the Nintendo Dads stuff and family podcasts. And with that, I will uh, say goodbye and happy Monster Harvesting. Everybody.